OTC PLT, AP starts complete with three good APCs. Thank you. And final air surface checks of the orbiter's elevons as well as the rudder are being completed at this time. And this verifies the orbiter's hydraulic systems. And the three main engines are being gimbaled for a final test before launch. And we're standing by for the retraction of the gaseous oxygen vent hood away from the external tank, and it is being retracted at this time. Inside the bronze color tank is about 500,000 gallons of super cold liquid fuels that run on the orbiter's three main engines. Copy that. Flight crew, OTC, close and lock your visors and initiate O2 flow. We begin 98, sending our last astronaut for his stay on Mir. We're going to howl for the Wolfman. Uh, that did work. We'll see in a few days. 15. T-minus 13 seconds. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. We have a go to main engine start. 4. 3. 2. 1. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Endeavor, continuing the union of U.S. and Russian space endeavors. Endeavor, roll program. Roger, roll Endeavor. Houston is now controlling. The roll maneuver is complete. Endeavor is now in a heads down, wings level position, headed to a rendezvous with the Mir space station. Thirty seconds into flight, Endeavor now traveling at about 520 miles per hour. Endeavour's engines are now throttling down to 67% of rated thrust. Endeavour is now passing through the area of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 2.3 miles, traveling at a speed of just about 870 miles per hour. Houston, go with throttle up. Roger, go with throttle up. One minute, 19 seconds into the flight. Endeavour's three liquid-fueled engines are now back at full throttle, 104% of rated thrust. Endeavour downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, a distance of about 10 and a half miles, traveling at the speed of about 2,000 miles per hour. Just about seven minutes of powered flight remaining. Two minutes, nine seconds into the flight, the booster officer confirms good separation of the solid rocket boosters. And never now downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at a distance of about 38 miles. Houston, performance nominal. Copy, performance nominal. Endeavor Houston, two engine tau. Uh, copy, Susan, two engine tau. Two minutes, 35 seconds into the flight, Endeavour's performance has been as expected, and in the event of a single engine failure, Endeavour could now reach the transatlantic landing site at Zaragoza, Spain. Telemetry still continuing to indicate that all three main engines and auxiliary power units and fuel cells are performing well.